This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings, and just watch to the end of this one, even if you don't like cricket, because it is bizarre. Afghanistan, to qualify, they need to chase the total that Sri Lanka hit, which is 291 runs. So for Afghanistan to qualify, they need to beat Sri Lanka, but they need to beat them timely. They need to beat them by the 37th point one over. So the first ball of the 38th over, they need to score 292 runs to beat them. And everyone's getting a little tense about it, a little nervous, but my dude, Rashid Khan, is up to bat, and I like watching him hit. Attacks that one. We would say pull side. They say leg side for four. It hits the boundary, so that's automatically four runs. That helps. That pushes them along. They're at 281 runs now. He goes backs up and goes oppo. That one, they say offside, but no runs. Defender was there. So now he's going to run down the track, say, I'll go over your head. Fine. Goes over their head four more runs. Now they're at 285, and there's two more balls left to take the lead in order to advance. So they think, and look what happens on the last ball of this over. He swings big inside edge and lucks out because it rolls all the way to the boundary for an automatic four runs. That's just, you know, basically a, a miss hit, and he's lucky because this is just kind of the lucky breaks of cricket because... That could have hit the stumps and he would have been out. But instead, it goes for four, which puts them in striking distance because now they're at 289 runs. So all his partner needs to do is hit one over the outfielder. They run for three. They win. Or hit one to the boundary. Hit the wall. They get a four. They win. Rashid's like, I set you up, dude. No worries. Have some fun. They don't know that because he just got their run score so high, the math changes because you can score more runs runs than just the three needed to win you know all the runs you score count on the game winning hits like if you hit a walk off grand slam you don't just get credit for the one you get credit for the four so the run differential changes but they don't know that at all they have no one on their stats department that has told them that so they think this is their last possible chance big swing does it get over the outfielder no he's caught he's out it's the ninth out of the innings and there's 10 outs and you're done And now Afghanistan, they think they've lost. They think there's no chance to advance and win right now. They're distraught, devastated. They have no idea that they can get to 295 runs by hitting a six. 295 would be their total if they hit a six. And that would give them the math to advance. That would be the differential. And they can do it in three balls by the 37th. Point four, so the fourth ball of the 38th over, they have three chances now to hit a six. If they hit a four, they don't move on. They need the total number to get the 295. The only problem is they have no idea, so they just give up. That pitch or, or ball is so hittable, the announcer called it a juicy full toss. It looks like the pitch Joey Gallo smacked from the position player, and he just blocks it to stay alive because they have no idea they could still win and advance, and he just blocks that one. Look at this. Not even trying to hit, just trying to survive a little bit because they're so sad. And now they still don't know, but even if this dude and this ball was like, fuck it, we lost. I still want to swing big, and he hit a six here, a home run. They would win in advance, but he has no idea, and he just kind of doesn't care anymore, and he gets out for the 10th out, And that ends the match and Sri Lanka advances and Afghanistan is going to soon find out that their analysts and their stats department failed them by not letting them know. The coach did a press conference after this. This this is why he's out because it hit his leg. And if it did not hit his leg, it would have hit the stumps. So he's out. Rashid's upset. Their coach, look at the fans. The fans knew. The commentators knew. The coach in the press conference said, nobody told us. Dude, you kind of got to tell yourselves, man. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring the breakdowns. Thank you to people that watch this that don't know cricket, but just trust me to share some interesting shit with you. That was wild. I appreciate you guys, and thank you to DraftKings as well. 